Good morning. We survived our first night in the bus. And one of us had a decent night's sleep. I didn't sleep at all. I was 100% sure that every single noise I heard was a policeman coming to knock on our door and say, get out of here. Um, that fortunately didn't happen, but I was vigilant all night. <laughs> it was a little hot, but other than that, we had a pretty nice private night in this lot and no complaints. Yeah, we are in State College, Pennsylvania. This is where I went to school, and so it was kind of like a nice, safe, comfortable, I know the area, place to start off our trip. And we're gonna be heading north from here. So yeah, we're gonna bring you guys along, and I hope you enjoy our first week of bus life, because we are so far. <laughs> There's a baby porcupine! Look at the baby! Excuse me! So we've been driving up a gravel road for the past, I don't know, five miles, going at 15 miles an hour, and here we are. Uh, we can't go this way, it's a one lane road, we've been going for a while, we're gonna have to reverse as far as we can until we can turn around, because we're not turning around here. not going as great as the first. With limited options here, with either having to back down the road a couple miles in the gravel on this narrow road, or do something about this tree, I'm trying to do something about the tree. So I have my old hatchet, which the handle got all busted up immediately, so it's only using half the handle. Blade's pretty good. Did good work on the blade. I've managed to cut all the pieces that were wedging the trunk in down there. So now I'm going to see if I can hook it to the bus. And first I'll try to back up a little and pull it to see if I can just angle it off of the road enough that we can get by. If that doesn't work, We'll try pushing, I guess. I have to start working in like an hour. We have zero signal. We're in the middle of nowhere. Oh, and I should mention, Emily took the motorcycle to keep going up the road and see if A, if there's gonna be more trees blocking us anyway, B, if we're close to getting anywhere. So hopefully she'll get back with some good news and I'll have even better news with the tree being gone. Well, the camera died, but we made it. We are at our campsite, it took two hours longer than it should have to get here. Um, we really need to update our GPS settings so that it, we don't take these back roads anymore because that was not fun for anyone, especially that tree. Um, I'll show you more of the campsite in a bit, but first I'm gonna make us lunch because we're both getting a little hangry and Gavin's gotta get to work. lunch and chill time was exactly what we needed after not sleeping last night and then today's events. I just decided to lie in bed for a little while on my phone and that was great. But now I'm ready to show you guys our campsite. We are in this amazing spot in a state forest. We're gonna find a more level area tonight, pull forward a bit, but that's the best area for signal right now for Gavin to work. But we have the whole place to ourselves. We are just surrounded by trees and grasses and we have a little fire ring. So we're gonna spend a couple days here, settle in, 
and I think it's gonna be great. It looks like there are some trails through the woods and I know there are some trails nearby to like nice overlooks and things. So it's gonna be really fun to explore and we're excited to bring you guys with us. Hello friends, family. If you've been following our build closely, then you know where I am. I'm sitting on the toilet. And this is gonna be the first poop in our composting toilet, so I thought I would share it with all of you. Not that much of it, but I gotta figure this out, cause you know, perhaps this is a lot of details, but in the composting toilet, the poop goes in the back and the pee goes in the front, and we're aiming two things at once. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> okay, it's going bad. I immediately went to close our shower curtain and bumped the shower and turned it on. So now I'm... <laughs> My shorts and underwear are all wet. The toilet paper that was in here is now wet. I'm all wet. The journey continues. <laughs> All right, that was pretty easy. I've been pooping my whole life and I very rarely miss the toilet when I'm sitting on it. So a clean drop, accurate, nothing on the sides, ready for a lifetime of pooping in this bucket. <laughs> morning i had a great night's sleep last night i wasn't worried about anything at all and the bus was a lot cooler than <laughs> two nights ago so it was great <laughs> yeah we've been heading north to escape the heat since we don't have ac and it's 61 degrees here so it's, it's working out so far it was way cooler than it was yesterday and far more comfortable yeah so we're gonna take the motorcycle out and go explore this state park we're in and bring you guys along yeah hopefully there's some cool stuff to see Let's go. <laughs> so that did not go as planned. Um, we just slid out on the gravel. We were going about five miles an hour. We're both fine, but Gavin landed wrong and it looks like he broke his thumb um, right above the knuckle he landed on his hand. We were obviously idiots and not wearing our jackets but we were going you know less than 10 miles an hour and our jackets wouldn't have saved Gavin from landing on his thumb anyways so not what we were planning for today he seems fine but we're gonna head back and get it on ice and everything a couple just drove by us in a pickup truck and Gavin hitched a ride with them back to our spot I'm taking the bike back to our spot yeah we're trying to um do all the things that can go wrong in the first couple days of bus life so that nothing will go wrong later, right? Anyways, we're both okay. Just a little shaken up. <sighs> Not a great start to bus life. <laughs> all right. How you doing? Uh, ego more bruised than anything. Thumbs a little bit sore. The marks on your hands, hands are from the hatchet. Sore from the hatchet yesterday. That's Those not from the bike. <laughs> brutal blisters I got clearing trees, but not too bad other than that. Uh, time for a relaxing afternoon. Yeah, I'm just gonna have a chill afternoon at a quiet spot in the woods. It's been a pretty exciting start to bus life. An action-packed couple of days here. Um, I did call my dad, who's an orthopedic surgeon, just to make sure, and yeah, there's not much you can do for a broken thumb tip. So I'm just gonna ice it down, and it's gonna be annoying for a little while, but that's it. It's fine. We're all good here. We are not discouraged. We st we're still having fun out here, and hopefully the next video will have a little bit less drama to it. Yeah, we've got exciting plans, and we hopefully will have more fun things to show you in next week's video <laughs> maybe a pretty outlook or something that we didn't get to do this week <laughs> maybe we'll see <laughs> thanks for tuning in bye love you, love you.